Hello everyone, this is Simmer Rose with another Create a Sim video. It has been quite a while since I've done a Create a Sim video, but um, here she is. You may recognize the base Sim. It is in fact Carly from the 100 Baby Challenge, <laughs> um, which is a little, a little weird, but as a teen she looks a little different. And you'll see when, once I start making the alterations to her face, um, that she, she takes on a life of her own. She starts to look less like Carly and more like Hermione. So I just thought that Carly was a good base for Hermione, and that's all she was as a base. Really doesn't end up looking too much like Carly, I hope, at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, here she is. Um, I've been wanting to do a Harry Potter create a sim for a very, very long time. Like, ever since I started, like, getting really into this channel and even when I started this channel I was like yeah no one's gonna care about my channel like why do I even bother but you know I stuck with it and I was like surprised you know by how well this channel was doing and I was like you know what it's about time I make some Harry Potter sims because as you I mean y'all should know by now that my Star Wars obsession runs real deep and the Harry Potter obsession runs just as deep I promise <laughs> so um yeah, I just, I had to, had to do with the Harry Potter characters. It took me a while to find all the right CC. That was kind of a pain. Um, and in fact, now that I've done um, a CC purge, some of it kind of got lost. So I don't even know in between the amount of time, because I recorded this over winter break, and it is right now February 8th <laughs> as I'm doing the voiceover for it. Um, and so it's been a while since I've um, recorded this to now recording the commentary. So in that time between, I did a custom content purge, and um, it might have, so I don't even know if they look the same anymore. I mean, I know for a fact that the contacts are gone, because those were my favorite, again, my favorite pair of contacts, and they're gone, and I can't find where they came from, and I'm really upset. If any of you know any really good contacts for Sims, please let me know, because, I mean, I've downloaded some, but none of them are the same as those. Like, if you, if you like, are able to tell me what they are, oh, I just saved her. There it is. <laughs> um, if you're able to tell me what those are, if you can tell, if you have any other contacts that you really like. I mean, really, I'm just, I'm desperate. I miss my contacts. <laughs> so yeah, they might not look the same in game anymore, but, um, you know, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a bit of Hermione's makeup. Hermione is like actually my favorite character. She's like so, so cool. Um, like, she was, like, you know, one of my childhood heroes. Like, the same way, like, Princess Leia taught me to be, like, a strong woman. Hermione also, you know, like, had the same, like, lesson, you know, being a strong, imp empowered girl, woman. And, um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do, um, them as children or as teens. But the amount of custom content, um, it was... It was easier to find custom content for teens than it was for children. So I ended up just making them all teens. I really did want to do, like, both. Like, I wanted to do, like, child Hermione and child teen, um, along with, you know, the rest of the Golden Trio and others. But, um, I, it just wasn't working out. Um, so I, o I only found good custom content for teens, so that's what I went with. And her hair there... Um, I couldn't decide, you saw me going back and forth between, like, the, the bushy hair, um, with the bangs, that is actually, someone created that to look like Hermione, but it just wasn't, it didn't frame her face well, so, that hair, that custom content hair, I have no idea where it came from, but that, I was going for, like, third year Hermione, I think, looks like that, no, third, fourth year, I think fourth year Hermione wears her hair like that, like the chamber of seat, not, cha oh my god, <gasps> Gobble to fire, Gobble to fire Hermione wears her hair like that, um, and you'll see in the comparison shots later on what I mean, um, and there's a Gryffindor cardigan that I found over at the Sims resource, um, and see, like, that's what I mean, like, I was able to find, like, you know, house cardigans and robes for the teens, but they didn't make anything like that for children. They make them for The Sims 4, of course, but not for The Sims 3, and I am clueless as to how to convert things, so that wasn't happening. So I just went with teens, and they end up looking really great. Um, she looks fantastic so far. I'm marveling at my own work because it's been a while since I've seen this. Um, I Oh, and this is, I jumped, um, I put, placed her in a world and I jumped into her, um, her dresser to give her a second outfit, and, um, this is, um, no, this is fifth year Hermione, and the, that's right, because she wears this outfit when she confronts Grop the Giant, um, Hagrid's half-brother in the Forbidden Forest, because she wears that, um, she has her hair, she wears that, that red and blue striped 
that red that red and pink striped sweater when he picks her up and she goes, Rob, put me down. <laughs> Tell me if you know what I'm talking about, please. I, I mean, I hope if you're watching this video that you enjoy Harry Potter and are able to quote it, but she wears this exact outfit in that moment. And you, again, you'll see it in the comparison shots, but I just clearly like have that, the Rob, put me down. And he listens and it's astonishing. <laughs> um, yeah, oh gosh, I love Hermione. I freaking love Harry Potter. I just, I'm so passionate about this. Um, okay, and we're back to um, her regular creatism or her formal wear. Um, that's a really ugly version of the wizarding robe that she's not wearing in her formal wear. Um, so for her formal wear, I decided to go with... Um, that's not the dress I end up picking, don't worry. I just wanted to pick her shoes first so you could see them. Obviously, I went with the the look that she wears for the Yule Ball in the Goblet of Fire. And this Baroque era dress that I found on Tumblr, I think, ended up working perfectly. Um, and oh my god, the dress is just so nice. And she looks so beautiful in the movie. I low-key, not low-key, like high-key have a crush on Emma Watson. <laughs> so like... I had to start with Hermione, of course. Not only is she my favorite book and movie character, I also have a crush on Emma Watson. But, um, is that, I can't remember what hair I ended up going with with her. Is that, is that it? No, no, that's it. Yes, that's the hair I go with. Um, and now we're just doing her Yule Ball makeup. Sorry it keeps fading to white. I, it's, all I'm doing is saving her and saving the game and possibly jumping in and out of dresser. I think I actually had to place her in the game again just now so that I could put multiple makeups per location using master controller you can't do that and create a household so i had to like put her in a world first um i just gave her a little hairline it's it's a blush but it functions as a hairline or it's a hairline that functions as a blush in game i, I don't know but it just makes her forehead look less big and the hair look less boxy and i think that's a perfect perfect look for the yule ball i mean it's not exact but it's it's it captures the essence pretty well and i'm very happy with how it turned out um, there's a scene in, again, I think it's either Chamber of Secrets or, not Cha oh my god, I keep saying Chamber of Secrets. In Chamber of Secrets, she was a baby. I mean, Goblet of Fire or Order of the Phoenix, where she's sitting with the boys and she's wearing these, like, snowflake star-looking pajamas, um, the pants, and then she's wearing a red, comfy-looking shirt, um, and that's the scene where she... She tells Ron that he has the emotional range of a teaspoon. <laughs> I can't remember what movie it's from exactly. I'm pretty sure it's the fifth one. It is the fifth one because they were talking about Cho Chang and after that, and Cedric's already dead. So, of course, yes. So, in The Order of the Phoenix, they're sitting in the Gryffindor common room, and Hermione tells Ron that he has the emotional range of a teaspoon, and it's really funny, and she's wearing these pajamas, and um, that's what I went with. You can kind of see the layering, but with her hair, it's it's gone away. You know how I use my leotards to make things look like they're long sleeves, even when they're not. Um, and it gets covered up by the hair. Um, now this athletic wear, um, I'm going with that iconic pink hoodie and uh, blue sweatpants that she wears this time, I mean. The ch no, I don't mean the Chamber of Secrets. Heck, I mean the Prisoner of Azkaban when she punches Draco in the face. She's wearing this pink hoodie. Um, and I really, really wanted to... Um, incorporate this outfit because it's so iconic because that is when she punches Draco in the face and it's when they use the time turner which is one of my like favorite sequences ever Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite one out of all of them guys tell me what your favorite Harry Potter books are and slash movies I guess the Prisoner of Azkaban is by far my favorite and that's one of my favorite moments the whole time travel sequence and when she punches Draco in the face that's freaking awesome so I definitely wanted to include that outfit um you just saw her swimwear and now I'm doing her outerwear which is finally when I get into the Gryffindor robes um and I also downloaded these on the Sims resource and unfortunately they had um better looking robes for men than for females they didn't they didn't have any like the ones that I excuse me the ones that I got for teen boys had like a tie and everything these just came the way they were but because I end up giving her a scarf you can't really tell but the shaping is better for the men, too. But, you know, I just, I make do. I make do. Um, I don't know what that little pause was. Um, but, yep, there's the scarf. I'm going to give her a little, give it a texture and, a, and coloring, the Gryffindor colors. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's that yellow. And there's that, yes, yes, that is a Gryffindor scarf. Yes, correct. Um, and now I think think is when I go back into her hair again. She has a different hair for every outfit, if you couldn't tell. Um, 
yes, I'm gonna give her a little hat because she's there's that one scene this and on the in the Goblet of Fire where she's screaming for Harry when he's fighting the dragon and she's got that cute little hat on, and I tried to um, convey that through The Sims as best I could. Um, and she's just about done, I think, because those I think that's the last of it. I just have to do her personality, I think. Right? Um, do I change her shoes again? Oh no, I put her back in her everyday wear. And then yes, I pick her personality. And Hermione is a genius, of course. She is brave, of course. Gryffindors are brave. She is a, why am I going so slow? She's a perfectionist, of course. Oh my God, and a workaholic. That is Hermione to a T. I gave her pink as her favorite color because of um, her Yule Ball dress. And I actually consulted Google for Hermione's birthday. She was in fact born September 19th, 1979, which would make her a Virgo. So I picked an accurate, um, what the heck, uh, sign for her. <laughs> and yeah, so here are the comparison shots that I'm very, very happy with. Um, I really think they're very spot on and I'm really, really, really pleased with how she turned out. I think she's beautiful. I just wish I didn't lose half the CC that, that I used for her. It's a shame. But, um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I wish I had some screenshots in game, but as I said, I lost a lot of the CC that I used to make her, so I'm gonna try and, you know, fix her up before I take shots of her and the other characters in game. Um, so stay tuned for those, and stay tuned for more Harry Potter characters, and um, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment, tell me your favorite Harry Potter character, your favorite Harry Potter movie. I would love to talk about Harry Potter with you guys. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, you guys.